Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl, T. Oh, it's been a while since I've done a Completed Pages video. I wanna say thank you to all of my um, subscribers, new and old, not old in age, but you know, <laughs> been with me for a long time. And I wanna say uh, quarter two was a really tough quarter for me. Had a lot of things going on. And so I kind of did not color as much as I wanted to uh, or had the, uh, I guess I'm going to say the mental capacity to. Uh, I just didn't feel like coloring that much, but I uh, did get some done kind of early on in the quarter. These are mostly done probably beginning of the quarter. Towards the end of the quarter, I, um, I did more time in painting. Um, I'm not gonna share my finished diamond paintings on this video. I'm going to do a separate video on that. Um, but I will show you guys what I've done, including uh, I finished a jigsaw puzzle. This is the jigsaw puzzle I finished. I'm going to pop a picture of it up on the screen, completed. And this is gorgeous. I absolutely uh, love this. It was very hard uh, because of a lot of the um, stained glass in the background, trying to figure out like where those pieces went, I but I finally finished it and I'm so happy to say that. <laughs> this is a, this is called the, the Vivid Collection called Window Lilies by Buffalo. I love Buffalo puzzles. Um, they have a sale, I think once a year, kind of towards the fall with where their like puzzles are 70% off and I went and like bought a bunch of them and so I have puzzles to finish. So this was something I enjoyed doing while um, I was not filling coloring or filling anything for that matter um but yes next we're going to do the books and i'm going to move these off to the side and i'm going to start with uh botanicum let me zoom in a bit for you guys i hope everyone's doing well um now botanicum is by maria trolle or troll i don't know how you say it and um this is a book that i'm trying to finish this year i don't know if this is going to happen I really have to get working on it, um, but I want to share that some of the pictures I've done. This one, this is a full book buddy color with my Tease World of Adult Coloring um, group. However, this was actually a buddy color with uh, Samantha Oswald. She is a fellow YouTuber. She also has a Facebook page or a Facebook group. And so we did this color, this page here. I'm gonna if I can find her picture, I'll pop it up over here so you can see it. This is really fun. I just had a lot of fun with it. I used some watercolors in the background. Um, I think I based this with watercolor. And then I did some shading with pencils and we have some, uh, a little bling here on the rooftops. Of course you guys, I love pink. So try, let's see if I can get it, there you go. I do use gel pens for the rooftops of the, the castle. So yes very very fun to do and that was all that I did this quarter in this book I have some whips in here uh, which I probably won't share but um, they're almost complete I just didn't feel like doing the backgrounds when I was done coloring the actual image so I'm gonna do the backgrounds next but yes that is what I did in Botanicum next I did some in another full book buddy color in my uh, Adult Coloring on a Budget group in Main Street by Teresa Goodridge. This is another book that I'm trying to finish this year. And so I did this page here. I challenged myself with this page to just use all colored pencils. I think I ended up using Arteza on this one. Um, it was really fun. I love how my bricks turned out. I love how the wood turned out here. And very, very pleased with this picture. I could have used a little work on making this look shiny, but I don't know if I wanted that to look shiny, the, the light pole here. And I could have kind of blended that a little more in the street, but all in all, I like the way it turned out. I also finished this one here, Town and Country Furniture. Um, this was a color palette challenge. We could only use the color palette that you see here, which was like a, let me see if I can find it, I'll pop it up here what the color palette was. Um, so it was like baby blues, uh, like a dark turquoise, a tan. You could add black and white. So I did that. 
And I think it turned out all right. And that was Main Street Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. Next, I colored in A Million Sea Creatures by Lulu Mayo. This was a buddy color with the lovely Jamie from Jamie's Coloring. I had fun doing this page. I really like Lulu Mayo. <laughs> I, li I like her images because they just let you have fun. Um, I did a pink and white lighthouse with a green door. I did a black sky, added some uh, white, uh, I think that's acrylic paint pen around the waves, used some gel pens in that on the whale, not whale, the killer, the killer, oh yeah, it's a whale, killer whale, the Shamu. <laughs> and I use um, just a little gel pen also in the hat of the little creature that's riding him. And so yes, I wanna say thank you to Jamie for that buddy color oh by the way and I didn't say that I did uh, base this page with um, Prismacolor watercolor pencils and then I shaded over the top of it <clears throat> next I colored in matchstick mouse a floral coloring book and this was just a page I decided to do I had fun with it of course, all my mice are going to be white um, in the, a lot of these books. And because um, I just, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> I guess that's lazy, but hey, I have so many books to color, so many pages like the rest of us. And I just, one less thing to do, right? So anyways, I based this with marker, shaded with a pencil, and use some, uh, I think that's Sparkle Pop on the door and the little mail slot there. But it was fun. I love coloring these pages because they're so quick and easy and fun. But yes, that is Matchstick Mouse, a floral coloring book. Next, I did several in Matchstick Mouse, um, a springtime coloring book. These, This first one was a buddy color with Sharonda. If I can find her picture, I will pop it up on the screen. Sharonda is in my one of my Facebook groups, and she's the one who gifted me this coloring book, and so we colored several pages together. This one is based with markers, and then I used colored pencils to shade. This one's also a buddy color with Sharonda, and the challenge was to use all purples. So this is my purple page. Purple is the lupus uh, the lupus color for lupus uh, awareness and stuff so we decided to use purple for that very cute I love how it turned out again I based it with markers and then I used um, shading with colored pencils and I have some some uh, gel pens in there on that little dust thingy to make it a little sparkly but I don't think you guys can see that much and then I did some white around the flowers but as you can see it bled the white this is also white but over time it turned pink so <laughs> but that's okay I love I love how it turned out and this is the last one I buddy colored with Sharonda a very simple one a little mouse looking out at the stars and I did use a little uh, gel pen this was also marker based with uh, colored pencils on top the next one was a buddy color with DJ Colorful Escape over here on YouTube. She asked if we could do buddy colors on this, or I, I reached out to her. And this one I had fun with. The background is watercolor. And I base this with marker and I use colored pencils. And I love how this one turned out. I also used some white uh, paint pen on the flowers and the petals and on the ground there in the grass yeah so thank you so much DJ we also did this one <laughs> we did several we did this one here very cute again if I can find the pages I'll pop them up over here this one was really fun I love it I love it love love it I added some uh, I don't know if you guys can see some glitter sparkle to the teacups and the kettle it's so hard to get that to show but you can see it with your natural eye. 
So that was really fun to do. I like how bright I had the um, this area here because usually I do it brown. I was like, you know, I'm going to do something a little different. And I went brighter on the wall or the, the dirt wall. <laughs> All right, and last but not least with DJ's Colorful Escape is this one here, Woosaw. This is what I was needing to do this last quarter and probably did do a lot of just, you know, not doing anything, just vegging out. And um, But I love how this turned out. This one again is based with um, marker and just colored with colored pencil on top. Very simple, very fun, very cute. So thank you Sharonda and DJ for those buddy colors. And if anyone wants to buddy color and matchstick mouse, I will do those with you because these are fun and easy to do. Just let me know. All right, next we have Afro Punk Women. This is an AI coloring book, and I did a buddy color with the lovely poet from Poets Biblio, I think it's Biblio Poet Spice, here on YouTube and Instagram. I will pop her picture up here if I can find it. And this was really fun, actually. <laughs> Um, I didn't really like how her skin turned out. It looks a little yellow to me, but hey, go with it. Um, I used some uh, metallic watercolors in the background for those panels. Um, I did go over a lot of this in black, um, black, um, what do you call it? Um, what are these pens called? Like uh, art, art pens, black art pens. Not the, not the acrylic, but the art pens. And then I just use color pencil to shade over top of the um, markers that I use. I think she came out pretty cool. Pretty cool. And thank you, Poet, for the buddy color. And again, that's Afro Punk Women. Next, I decided also to work on some of my whips that I have. I had a video of tons of those whips. So I pulled out this one here to do. This is Jash Lee's Fantasy Collection. This was a whip, and I did this one. Not really happy with it. I just don't know what I don't like about it, but um, she's done. This is a, um, is this marker base? Yeah, marker base with color pencil on top. There's a lot of, um, you know when you, you, on Amazon paper, if you press too hard, it like burnishes the paper. I feel like it did that. Um, but it's done and there is no more whips in this book. <laughs> so that's the goal to finish the whip. So yes, that was a Jash Lee fantasy collection coloring book. Next I did, um, some more whips. This one I didn't have in my, um, whip pile cause I couldn't find this book. And I finally found it. I don't know why it was, it was under some blankets <laughs> on my bed. I'm like, I know I took this to work on. This is Sketchy Stories by Kirby Rosanas. It's a sketchbook art. And I started coloring this a long time ago. So I went ahead and finished some. I finished this one here. Very cool doodle. So I went over a lot of this with um, Arteza colored pencils. I travel with those pencils. So I did go over those, a lot of the stuff that I had already done and finished with those pencils. The next whip I finished was this one here. Again, I went over a lot of it with the uh, Arteza pencils, the part I had already done, and finished it off uh, with the, we know, finished the ones I didn't finish on this. Very cool. I love this book. It's nice and small. This one here I had a lot of fun with was another whip in this book. Um, I did this background with watercolor and I decided to use um, these gel pens that I had. They're just like the neon color ones and tried to blend the background, you know, blend those colors in the background. I like how this turned out. Um, very fun and easy to do. I don't know why it was a whip. <laughs> very fun. I love it. And last but not least is this one here I finished. Again, I had some things unfinished and so I just went over some of the pencil work I had done with uh, Arteza and finished off this page. No background. All right, and that is Sketchy Stories by Kirby Rosanas.
Next, I finished a whip in Pop Manga Dragons, Magically Mythical Creatures by Camilla D'Erico. And this page here was a whip. I had did a test on, I believe, this little guy right here. So I decided to finish this whole page and kind of match him to his mommy or his daddy. And so this was marker based with um, Crayola Super Tips and then shaded with color pencils. I think I used Prismacolor. And that is, um, the background is done with watercolor. No, 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 what is that? I think that's those crayons, gel crayons, I believe. Yeah, so I finished that. And then I had one in the very back, again, was like a test. And I finished this one. She was a test. I just had done some work on the dragon and she turned out so pretty. I had lots of sparkle to her in the dragon. I think it turned out so cute. So yes, guys, I'm whipping out those whips. And that is Pop Manga Dragons and Other myth Magical Mythical Creatures by Camilla D'Erico. All right, next up, I did a page. I think this, yes. I did this page. This is Chris from Chris Reiniak's Morning Scribbles Frogs and Friends Edition. This is, was for June Color Your Horde 2023 for my live. I did this page live on um, uh, last month. If you want to go check that out, you can. And basically, I use the Caliart pastel set, or no, the Hoo Hoo, I think, pastel. And then I did the shading with um, Holbein's, the Holbein pastel set. And then I added some bling on this with some glitter. And then that pastel Holbein set, I gave away. I did a giveaway for it. So if you didn't watch that one, you missed out on that giveaway. Um, for that 12 set. So we do have a winner. So yeah, that again was Chris Raniac's Morning Scribbles, Frost and Friends edition. Next, I did a buddy color in Joanna Bassford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I did this buddy color with the lovely Emma Horan, Devil May Care 2000, 2001? I will pop it up on the screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> I will also pop her page up on the screen. This one was really fun. I did all of this uh, with pencil, no shading, I mean, no basing. Um, and then I just used some gel pens, uh, Sparkle Pops and some other gel pens. I used Faber-Castell color pencils in this book. Um, and so I also used uh, some pastel for the background. I did pink clouds. I love how it turned out. You can see the bling. I love the colors. I love pink. Although then I realized I messed up because this book was supposed to be uh, these kind of colors. However, it's okay. It matches a little bit. Um, but yes, I love this. And I want to say thank you to Emma Haran for your patience because this took a long time. Um, but yes, we were supposed to just do this page. But then she ended up doing the, the whole thing. And I said, well, I'll go ahead and do the whole thing too because it's a double pager. So thank you so much. That is Joanna Basford, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna, uh, <laughs> Joanna Basford. <laughs> I already said that, duh, T. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. All right, next I did a page in this beautiful book, Nature Mandalas. And was this a buddy color? Probably not. No, yes. This was a long-standing buddy color I had last year. I finally finished it. <laughs> it was from, um, we had selected this on one of my lives and I was supposed to finish it. <laughs> and I just finished it this last quarter. I love how it turned out. I use only um, ink tense pencils on this and that is it. No color pencils, no nothing. And I really enjoyed this page. And I want to say thank you guys for your patience <laughs> um, on this one. And yeah, this is so pretty. I love this book and I love using ink tints in this bo these books. So that is Nature Mandalas by Mel Pomeni C. All right, I also did a page in Enchanted Earth by Mel Pomeni C. 
And where did I not mark the page? Oh, here it is. This was a buddy color with the lovely Samantha Oswald. I'll pop her page up here on the screen if I can find it. And we did this mermaid. I had so much fun with this, uh, making her skin green, putting some uh, gel pens. I use ink tents again on this page and I did a little shading, I think with Prismacolor, just a little bit. Um, but yes, I love how it turned out. Very, very nice, very fun. And I can't wait to do more in this book. That is Enchanted Earth by Mel Pimini C. And last but not least in my completed pages for the quarter, second quarter, was a whip that I, has been a whip for like three years. <laughs> gonna see if I can find Lavelia's it was a whip with Lavelia and I'm telling you guys I get so oh like um, I don't know kind of particular and kind of nervous and frustrated when I do skin uh, and especially when there's a lot of skin to color because I'm not as good as I would like to be and so therefore I'm hard on myself about it so I had worked on it and I put it away and I put it away for years. I was like, I'm sorry, Lavelia, I just can't. She goes, well, just when you get when you get to it, you know, just take your time. But this is Nocturnes by Anastasia Ellie Coldareva. And this is the buddy color with the lovely Lavelia, my bestie. I love her. And this is what I did. So what happened was I <laughs> base this whole I base the image with uh, I think it was Lyra watercolor pencils then I came in with um, I did shading with um, Faber-Castell but then I was like I don't like how the skin's looking so I was just like forget it then I said you know what you got to take your time and just just do it to you, you got to tackle this page and I'm glad that I did. I conquered my fear of doing all the skin. <laughs> I think it did a good job with the coloration of her hands. I don't know if you guys can see that on the inside. I don't think I shared this on Instagram. I don't share a lot of my pages there because I just like to share it here sometimes. I created this background. I wanted to have like a tapestry of African colors. Um, so this is like an African type of feel for this. I used uh, uh, a sparkle pop on her jewelry so it's very uh, gold and I love how her dreads came out I did her dreads love how they came out I love how this all just came out her lipstick her eye makeup um, the skin is not perfect but it's the best I have <laughs> at this time so I want to say thank you thank you thank you Lavelia for your so for being so patient <laughs> And, you know, for encouraging me to just work slow and take your time and, you know, just being so kind about it. <laughs> but yes, that is Nocturne's Anastasia Ellie Coltereva. And that is all that I have, y'all. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like this kind of stuff, Go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you become a part of the Beautiful People family. Um, if you guys, I'm now I'm back into coloring. <laughs> so if anyone wants to do a buddy color, let me know. And those of you who have current buddy colors with me, I have not forgotten you. I am working on them now um, to get those done between some other things that I'm doing. But I just want to say, you guys, remember to love, not hate. And until next time, y'all. Take care.